in a way, when you think about usability and utility, there's two parts. There's the perception. How useful is it? Is it something that people want to use? That's one thing. Do I want to pay taxes? No, <laughs> but I have to, right? So then there, you kind of have to counterbalance. There are going to be certain goals, certain things where you may want to improve perception, but it may be more practical or beneficial to improve something like the descriptive or outcome-based metrics. And so you can use these like levers as ways to ensure that you're working toward whatever good means in your context, right? If you try to over-optimize for one thing, let's say you have a car and you build the best engine in the car, the fastest mm -hmm. engine, and it becomes so powerful that you cannot steer it, therefore you crash. Wouldn't it be better if you have designed the whole car so that it doesn't have the fastest engine, but it turns. So you can, right. take, a fast, <laughs> can take a fast turn or it can actually break. It's important. Mm -hmm. Over-optimizing only one part of the chain of the system, it's going to make the system break. 